expected turbulence, like they said. Right. right. So that's where I have a little bit of a, uh, eh, right. would that really even do anything? I yeah. wonder if the airlines themselves, I mean, hear me out. You know how they have the extended seatbelts mm -hmm. for some passengers if you require that. Um, I wonder if they could do this in this also thing flooded. and we need yeah. you to keep your arms, you know, braced yeah. and ready for impact yeah. or something. My mom was a flight attendant for a long time, so she has all these like, when you land, have your hands down here or brace for impact. I'm like, yeah. okay, don't she think do a lot of mom. This. Mm -hmm. Yes, and if she's ever pointing, you know. Right. Yeah. I think it just, it, if she's happy, he's happy. He's not saying he wrote it. Yeah. Whatever. I don't, what I'm do, on what do you guys side. think? I'm on his side. I mean, I mean, I don't know how new this writing your own vows thing is, but if you've been to like a really sweet poem and it obviously meant something to him, like, oh, this conveys how I feel. How I feel. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And I think people use, I'm with the idea, like, once it opens, I just inherently Naturally. put it in the fridge. It goes in the fridge. Right? Yeah. Right. Okay. Next up. Pete yeah. says, doesn't it? Like, it'll tell you refrigerate after opening if it needs to. Okay, so that right. that just debunks my theory that one. I guess there are some oh. things. Fifty-seven percent of people said pantry. Thirteen percent, or fifty-seven, eighty-seven. Wow, words and numbers are hard. Okay. Majority <laughs> of people put it in the pantry. How about that? All right, next up, my mom had it in the pantry, so that's where I put it. Cody, since you are very passionate about the peanut butter, what you say on maple syrup? Pantry because real maple syrup never goes bad. Pantry, pantry. because real maple syrup. <laughs> Just well, actually, yeah. Okay, <laughs> pretty much yesterday. split on that. 59% say the pantry and the rest the fridge. So we're pretty even on that. Next up. Okay. Otherwise, good to know. Yeah, hide them uh, away in the pantry. Okay. Yeah. 56 or 76%. Wow, I'm struggling with the numbers. 76% keep them in the pantry according to those BuzzFeed. Um, so they're cold, cold on your teeth. You bite into them. Yes. If mm -hmm. you want to save them for a long time, like in the fall, if I go to an orchard and yeah. I get a jump for the most part. I do. Uh, yeah, we do pantry too. Yeah. Pantry. I don't, yeah. Split. 56% say pantry, 44 say fridge, so you can go either way. Finally, I heard, okay, so I'm not an avocado person. It's like the <gasps> one thing I don't, I know. I you have, are the wrong generation. I know, I almost, yeah. my, so that's my little two cents. 60% uh, like say pantry to help them ripen. Gosh, so many things. I'm so curious, you know, this people was think fun. about things. Yeah. I know. Like potatoes, what do you guys think? Pantry. pantry. Okay. That was the only one I had. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, maybe we would disagree on, I agree. Okay, pantry. that was fun. It was fun, it was fun. Okay, props pantry. down. Oh, sorry. Like We're it. done with Hands the Hands to yourself. Okay. okay. <laughs> Next up. Took a fork from work. I must repent. Yes. I've taken the fork. And you got to sneak it back. Like, Lord, nobody see me. He it was at the point he was checking. That's why you have a collective, you know, collection here at work. Right. Um, wow, I didn't realize this was Surprise such a thing. Condiments aren't a bigger thing. Like, here, I'm constantly like, maybe I'll find salt and pepper. They're a hot commodity. That's why you can't find them, Kendall. It's true. Don't even get into the You don't get here creamer. early enough. Yeah. I steal all the hot sauces. <laughs> Little do you know. <laughs> All right, much more coming up. Uh, yeah, I did that once. Well, yeah. Uh, how do you not know I that know. Florida in, so in March and April is spring break? Oh, I we know. got puppies in the studio. Surprise! Did you hear that? <laughs> it's okay. Um, it's it okay. was my bachelorette party, and we went, to, and there was spring break. Thanks. So, where do you go to college? I'm like, Stanford. <laughs> just makes stuff It's no big deal. All right, still ahead. Hey, you heard them. We're celebrating National Puppy Day a day early. <laughs> I love the vocal ones. I have such a vocal dog. So I'm like, Stella, stop barking. Oh, wait, that's not her. She's not here. Oh, cute. Well, National Puppy Day is an excuse to show off our four-legged friends. It's also meant to raise awareness of the importance of pet adoption. And this puppies on our website. Many that we have. puppies. Yes. Yeah, I mean, it is National Puppy Day awareness, but it's more about the importance of adoption. Yeah. So talk to us a little bit about what it's like to not only run one of these organizations, but how many of love Azure from Rust Start Rescue. Thank you so much for being here. To check out adoptable animals and find out more about volunteering, you can visit roughstartrescue.org. And I guys just want to talk about puppies forever. I, we do too, but we have to move on. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's every child's dream come true. Getting up close and personal with all things Disney. And this morning, Saquon takes us to the immersive Disney animation event at Lighthouse Art Space in Minneapolis. It's pretty cool. Take a look. The whole immersive experience is really kind of where everything is going. Right? You feel like all encompassing. You're in the movie. You become yeah. Elsa. I'm into it. Doesn't that what dream. every kid wants right now is to be... Elsa in Every the world. five, six, seven, eight year old girl for sure wants mm -hmm. to be Elsa, mm -hmm. at least in my world. Yeah. It's There's about to be chance. Ariel with the new Yes, with yes. The, the new, new little girl. Yeah, for sure. Mm -hmm. All right, coming up, time to embrace spring, even if there is still some snow on the ground. It's pretty excited that she's uh, got some. Yeah, and major mom points. Major well done. Points. Yeah.
I think she has like a couple years where she doesn't have to give a gift. No, she can melt that <laughs> for the rest of time. Yes. She's got it. Bravo. All right, finally, if you've ever been put under anesthesia to undergo a surgery or get your wisdom teeth out, right, you know you're a little loopy when you wake up. Yeah, you can't predict what you're going to say, how you're going to act. Well, one woman had a confession to her nurse. Watch this. What did I just say about that nurse? That is probably not the first time. Someone yeah, he's said a, that he's a, yeah, yeah. Uh, not a bad thing to wake but up to. But what you say yeah. with anesthesia should not leave No, it should the room. stay there. <laughs> they know too many secrets. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Okay, tomorrow on Good Day Spring Gardening Basics, Garden Guy Dale K is getting us ready for the start of planting season. 